Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be doing a what I eat in my day I love watching these videos and getting inspiration just for healthy meals I really truly have changed the way that I eat and what I put into my body So I want to share that with other people also I just want to start off by saying that this is just what is best for me and my body So just because this is what I eat for my body does not mean that it's what you need Maybe I eat less food or more food than you and that's just what my body needs I've just been eating intuitively, but also eating whole foods that are good for you i also eat all foods that are anti-inflammatory and gut friendly so all of these recipes curate to being in those categories um, i'm also gluten-free dairy-free soy-free so if you have any of those allergies or any of those things that you follow on your diet too then this video is definitely a great video for you just to get some inspiration but also if you're just trying to eat healthier this is also a great video because i have very easy healthy meals in this i'm not a cook i'm not good at cooking at all so these meals are really easy not require that much cooking let's get into it i just made a big chlorophyll water i do this every morning chlorophyll is my favorite thing to drink in the morning it's like peppermint tea which is so good for your body so i'm drinking this right now and i'm about to make my morning smoothie i have a smoothie like every single morning i'm obsessed with them i don't want to put too much in my body because i'm about to go work out so a smoothie is like perfect for me i can't work out on an empty stomach like i have to eat something let's get into it i'll kind of show you guys what i'm putting in it baby spinach frozen cherries frozen blueberries some fresh pineapple maple syrup almond butter and coco june yogurt half a cup of cherries Oh, that was a little more than I needed. Like that many cherries. I do half a cup of blueberries. I like these frozen just because I like the consistency better when it's more thicker. So I always try to use frozen fruit over fresh. I do about three or four diced pineapple. And I like to do fresh pineapple because I think it tastes way better than frozen pineapple. This is the Cocoa June. I just do like the plain flavor. And I'm gonna do just like a spoonful of this. Spoonful of almond butter just to get some healthy fats in there. A dash of maple syrup, pure maple syrup, just for sweetness. For almond butter, I always get the one. The ingredients are just almonds, so don't get the ones with like inflammatory oils because those are just unnecessary ingredients in there. And they will hurt your stomach if you have a stomach like mine. I'm gonna do like about a keeping handful of spinach. I try to get as much spinach in there as I can because this is just such an easy way to get your greens for the day and you don't ever taste them in a smoothie. They just compact in there. And then I'm about to, I'm gonna fill like halfway full with water. Now I'm gonna blend it. Now I'm just gonna sit here and drink this. I feel like every time that I'm like eating and I'm on my phone or I'm watching YouTube, I like don't ever feel full. Eat my meal and I'm, oh my gosh, I'm still hungry. Like I want to eat more because I always feel more hungry. And then I notice like when I'm not on my electronics, I just like sit here and like actually enjoy my meal and eat it without being distracted. I actually feel full after it. So I always try to do that in the morning. Sometimes during the day, it doesn't always work like that, but at least in the morning I try to do it. But I'm gonna sit here, drink this, and then go to my workout. I I'm back in the kitchen, I'm home. I had a sauna and a workout, so I just got back from that. I'm still sipping on my chlorophyll because I get, didn't get it all drink earlier before I left for my workout. But now that we're home, I'm gonna make my little morning drink that I have every single morning. I basically am not drinking caffeine right now since I'm healing my gut. I don't have caffeine. I have been missing coffee like crazy. It's not even the fact that like I need the caffeine of it or like the energy of it. I just love waking up and having my like, sweet little cup of coffee. It tastes so good and it just makes me happy. So I went on like a little search for a drink that I could replace it with that would actually be good. So I found this drink. It's called a golden milk. I don't know if you guys have heard of it or not. Basically, it's filled with so many good superfoods. I make it every morning now and I love it. You need almond milk, turmeric powder, cardamom powder, ashwagandha powder, pure maple syrup, and cinnamon. So I take my little blender again and I'm gonna do about a cup of milk. I use the almond milk milk just because this one is anti-inflammatory. It's good for gut health. It has no like gums or in it or anything like that. This is my favorite milk to use. They also have like an oat milk in this that would be really good. And, or you can just use regular like raw cow milk. So I do about that much. A couple dashes of ground cinnamon. I'm gonna do like 
a fourth a teaspoon of cardamom powder. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of ashwagandha powder. I got all of these powders on Amazon. I'll link them down below. I'm now gonna go mix this for like a good 30 seconds, almost to a minute, just because I don't want it to be powdery at all. Now that it's all mixed, I now add in my maple syrup before I pour it over ice. So I do about a tablespoon of maple syrup. I really like sweet, so I make sure to add a little bit of that. I'm just gonna take my straw and stir that up. I'm gonna get a cup. I use this little mason jar, I'm gonna fill this with ice. And then I'm going to pour that over ice. And add my straw. This literally is my favorite thing ever. I want to share with you guys the benefits of this drink because it's honestly so amazing. The turmeric in it is really, really good for inflammation. It helps bring down inflammation levels in your body, in your brain, or anything like that, which for me, my gut health is obviously really out of whack. So I have so much added inflammation. So I love incorporating turmeric any way that I can in my diet. So having this in the morning has changed the game for that. And then the cardamom powder that you put in, it helps aid in digestion, it helps with blood sugar levels it helps with blood pressure it's just really really good um for your glucose levels and stuff like that and then the ashwagandha powder everybody i feel like everybody knows about ashwagandha but it's like actually the most amazing thing ever it's so good for your anxiety and stress levels it helps bring that down it just like honestly makes you zen so i have loved incorporating this into my diet and into my morning ritual because I just like love the idea of getting all of these good nutrients and superfoods and powders into my body first thing in the morning through a drink that I actually love and like enjoy drinking. So I'm gonna enjoy this like it's my little morning coffee but without the caffeine. I'm so happy that I found this because I it's been the hardest thing to just not go out and get a coffee because I love doing that. So I'm gonna enjoy this and start my school day. I need to get that started. Next time I see you guys, it'll be time for lunch. Hey guys, it's 12.21 and I am starving. So I'm gonna make some lunch. I've just been sitting here doing school. I think I'm gonna have my tuna salad for lunch. This is like my go-to because it's so easy, it's so quick, but it's so good. If you don't like tuna, you can also replace it with like chicken or something like that. But I have been eating this probably for like lunch every single day for like two weeks now because it's so good and I love it and it's so easy. It takes me like five minutes and I will do anything that requires me not to take like 20 to 30 minutes in the kitchen because I just hate cooking. <laughs> also, this is just like my recipe because it's gut friendly. This is not what a normal tuna salad recipe looks like. So keep that in mind. So I need to get all my ingredients. I also like always usually snack on something while I'm making lunch. So I think I'm gonna snack on some grapes because we're gonna go with there anyway. You need a tuna packet, cocoa June yogurt, grapes, pickled onions, honey, and lemon pepper. Okay, so I just take a bowl and I'm gonna like mush up my tuna so it's all separated. And then I'm just gonna pour this whole packet in there. I got this tuna from Hy-Vee, but you can literally get packets of tuna anywhere. You just wanna make sure that it's literally the only ingredient in it is tuna. Don't want there to be like any added gross stuff in there. I get a fork and then I add like a big dollop of my Coco June yogurt. And I'm just gonna mash this all up six grapes you don't really need that many and then i'm just gonna cut each of them up into four and then i'm just gonna add this into my salad and then i'm gonna take my pickled onions and then i just get a couple of these probably just like four good ones and then i'm also gonna dice these up just because i don't want them too big i'm gonna give this a good mix and then i'm gonna add in some lemon pepper for flavoring and then also some honey. This is like my key ingredient. I love adding honey to it because I love the little taste of sweetness. I think it makes it so good. And that's literally it. I'm gonna sit and eat this now. I also get these chips from Heidi. They're so good. Literally the only ingredients are sweet potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. You can also get ones with coconut oil, which are a little more sweeter. I like those ones, but they only have the avocado. But I then take these chips and I dip them in here. So it's kind of like a dip mix almost. And this is my favorite way to eat my tuna salads. Mmm, literally so good. Since this is like a hot, such a high volume, high protein meal, it definitely holds me off too. 
and it keeps me filled like full for a long time just got back from my walk and it was a little more freezing out there than I thought but it felt so good I walked like almost three miles so it was very very nice I'm now gonna make a giant mineral lemon water because I just really need some water well first off I don't like the taste of water so it always helps when I add stuff into it I always drink more of it and then also mineral water basically when you drink regular water you're not actually getting or absorbing it the way that you need to be because there's not the needed minerals in it anymore like if you just drink regular water a lot of the minerals are no longer in the water stream that it comes from so by adding in a like electrolyte or even the salt I just use salt um, it's making it so that your water is absorbing more and your body's like actually using it better so I always make sure that I at least have one of these a day I'm just gonna take the mason jar that I used for my chlorophyll water and I'm gonna use the same thing so I'm gonna fill this up with ice and water and then I'll show you how I make mine I use just a lemon and then also some Celtic salt. This is my favorite salt. You can get it really anywhere. I think I got mine off of Thrive Market, but I know that like Amazon and stuff has it too. This has magnesium, calcium, potassium. So I only use like half of a lemon. And then I just take like a pinch of this salt. I kind of like the taste of it salty, honestly, so I kind of do a lot of this, but you really only need a pinch. And yeah, that's how I make my big lemon water. I'm back, and we're in the kitchen, which means it's time for dinner. It's currently 5.28, but dinner is going to take about like 30 to 45 minutes to make, so we're going to start it now. I'm also freezing in my house right now, like actually freezing the fireplace is going. When I'm cold, I don't feel like doing anything, so we're going to try to make this fast. Anyway, for dinner, I'm going to make sweet potato nachos. Basically, this is my take on a little grain-free nacho action. Let's get into it. I love this meal. This is like one of my favorite meals. It's also very easy. Um, it's just time consuming because it takes like the potato and that stuff's like a little while to cook. You'll need a sweet potato, broccoli, cauliflower, or just your veggie of choice, coconut butter, an onion, and then also ground beef, but mine's thawing right now. I'm gonna start by washing my produce. So I'm gonna put my broccoli, cauliflower, and sweet potato in here. And then I'm just gonna fill this up with like lukewarm water to the top so that all the produce is fully covered. And then I'm gonna add in some baking powder and then also some apple cider vinegar. And then I'm just gonna let it sit there for like probably a good three to four minutes. While that's okay, I'm gonna cut up my onion. So I'm just gonna dice my onion into little small pieces and then I'm gonna start to saute it over a pan um, just with some olive oil. Okay, I'm now gonna dice my sweet potato up since it's all clean. And then I'm just gonna dice it up in like little thin sl slivers. And these are gonna be like our chips for the nachos. We're gonna start another pan and then this one we're gonna put some olive oil. And then we're also gonna put like a big tablespoon of this coconut butter in there. This is what makes the sweet potatoes taste so good. Just like that much. And then I'm gonna let this kind of melt down a little bit before I put the sweet potatoes in with it. And while that melt melts, I'm gonna add my ground beef to this and kind of let it um, start browning. Okay, now this is all melted. I'm gonna add my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna get them, make sure they're all coated. And then over medium heat, I'm just gonna let these sit and I'm gonna cover them um, just so they get nice and toasty. Dinner is done. I'm not just gonna eat this. I just made, I showed you guys kind of how to make this part and then I just did my cauliflower and broccoli in the air fryer. I did like olive oil, some of that coconut butter also, and then just like garlic powder and salt and pepper. And then this I'm gonna eat. Obviously you like can't pick up the sweet potatoes because they're gonna be softer. So I kind of just, you know, like eat it with a fork. You make any of these meals that I showed you today, make this one. Mm. 
literally so good and then i seasoned the meat i just did obviously onions were in there and then i did salt pepper cumin thyme some garlic powder and then also some coconut aminos hey guys i'm all showered and ready for bed so it's time for sweet treat i'm gonna make a sleepy girl mocktail and then i also think i'm just gonna have a little cutie tonight honestly that sounds really good i just want something like really refreshing so i'll show you guys how i make my sleepy girl mocktail i've been making it for like a week now and i really really like it i honestly don't know if it makes me sleepy or not but it tastes yummy so that's all i really care about you literally just need sparkling water and then tart cherry juice 100 tart cherry juice i also put this magnesium in it it's like magnesium powder from moon juice and mine is in the flavor blue lemon calm so the magnesium also makes you sleepy first off you need a wine glass of course gonna do a little wine glass today and then I take about like a teaspoon of this powder like that I do about half sparkling water and it makes like the cutest color I think this color is so pretty and then also just some cherry juice I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of this and then I just add a couple ice cubes and that's it this is my little sleepy girl mocktail let's drink our mocktail and chat for a little bit basically i want to sit here and chat and while i drink my mocktail and just kind of talk about food because i haven't always had the healthiest relationship with food so i definitely want to take this video as an opportunity to talk about that um i feel like it's something i wish i would have heard more of when i was really struggling with my relationship with food and i just think a lot of people are honestly scared to talk about it and bring it to social media just because it is such a hard topic I have struggled with eating disorders for a, the longest time. I think a lot of it relates to my gut issues and always having issues with what's kind of going on with my body. So I obviously um, was always doing different diets, trying to heal my gut, figure out what's going on with my body because I've had so many different imbalances within my body. And I just think I was seeing the wrong doctors. Um, I was listening to social media. I was like diagnosing myself. So then I would go on these crazy diets, hoping they would heal my body. Um, but basically they just made my eating disorder really really bad i struggled a lot from binge eating so basically i would like restrict myself all day try to do the 1200 calories i remember i used to do like my fitness pal i just honestly was so unhealthy when it came to food and when it came to how much i was eating i just like was not feeling my body right before that i literally never had a problem with food i wish i could go back to that like pure girl that never had issues with food because i feel like once you have an eating disorder it's never ever the same no matter how much you heal from it was just at a really low place with food at one point i was not eating at all i actually would eat probably like 10 almonds a day because i was just so tired of trying to do the diet culture and all of that and nothing working but yeah i just want you to know that if you're in the place where you are struggling with an eating disorder or you have like a really hard relationship with food don't give up on yourself it's so hard to get out of it and i feel like you never truly do get out of it you just continue to grow one thing that really helped me that i'll share is when i started looking at food as something that fuels my body instead of something that that determines my weight or determines um, how I look or if I'm happy or if I'm sad like I just kind of disconnected those feelings with food and I truly changed it back into a thing of like food is just what I need to feel my body um I really started to listen to my body it's so hard for me because there is a lot of foods out there that I cannot eat especially right now because I am doing a gut protocol and healing my gut and healing my hormone imbalance and all of that so there I like do have a pretty strict diet but I feel like just changing my mindset around this diet and changing my mindset around food has been the biggest game changer when it's come to my eating disorder and from healing from my eating disorder i learned more about it i learned why you should be putting good whole foods into your body instead of all the processed foods and the more i just did my own research about food the more i grew a healthier relationship with food because i understood it i understood the background i understood why processed food is so dangerous for your body and why it's hurting your body more and like i understood and learned enough about it that i truly know that i am putting the best things in my body that i can because i want my body to be the healthiest that it can so like personal choice like i choose to eat all these whole foods and put all these good foods into my body because i know that that's what makes my body feel the best and that's what's meant for your body that's what your body needs to fuel and it doesn't need all the processed stuff because in the end that stuff is just harming your body more but yeah i really just wanted to shed light on this i just don't want you to feel discouraged if you're in the midst of an eating disorder if you've had it or if you're healed from it so think about it and just keep pushing through and you got this and don't let 
your eating disorder to take over your life do not let it control you you need to like de-associate it from yourself you are not the eating disorder it's something that you are going through right now it's something that um has mentally taken over but don't let it anymore so i hope that helps anybody out there that's going through it i want you to know that if you are going through it or just even want to talk about it please reach out to me comment down below anything i would love to talk to you guys about it because i don't want you to ever feel alone i really hope you guys enjoyed my video today i'm gonna eat a little cutie and probably go to bed let me know if you want more videos like this or if you kind of want more health videos i love you guys and i hope that you got some inspiration definitely like and subscribe and do all the things if you really feel like you like my content or if you like it over here on my channel i would love that i'd love the support i will talk to you guys in my next video love you